Thank you for tuning in to this month's concert from St. Jude's. Today we're offering a short piano recital given by Professor John Irving. John was last heard at St. Jude's six years ago when he brought his Denote Ensemble to give us a program which included a trio for clarinet, cello and piano. Some may, re may remember it. We hope that the day will come when they, he or they can come in person again. John's a specialist in early music, and especially in piano performance. He specializes in music of the 18th century. He has six books on Mozart to his name as a university academic. So we're very fortunate to have him today. He's very well known as a performer. And today he's performing six of the famous 48 Preludes and Fugues, which were composed by J.S. Bach. John will talk a little bit about the 48 and about Bach's aims in composing them. We'd like to offer our very grateful thanks to him for doing this. Now may be the moment to say also that he is responsible for streamed concerts from, from New Malden in Surrey. Google for the details if you'd like to follow him there. And we should add also that there will be further streamed concerts this year from St. Jude's on the first Saturdays of November and December. There'll be a World War II themed concert of music and poetry on the 7th of November at four from Valerie Fry and Chris Hooker. And there will be a vocal recital on the 5th of December again at four. Other concerts will no doubt follow in 2021, just to look at this, this site for details. And please remember that our concerts are all streamed free of charge, but with an opportunity to contribute online, if you wish. Thank you for your generosity in that. And thank you also, of course, to John and to the artists who give their time and talents to us. Thank you. Johann Sebastian Bach was, in the opinion of many commentators, the greatest of all composers. Few would argue against the fundamental genius of Bach, whose music has come to serve as a benchmark of technical and artistic excellence. In particular, we might think of Bach's mastery of the art of counterpoint, the blending together of two or more melodies in such a way that each or all can serve as treble, middle or bass against the others, while maintaining strict accordance with the ground rules of tonal harmony. His two collections of preludes and fugues in all the major and minor keys together known as the 48 Preludes and Fugues, or as he entitled them, Das Voltemperierte Klavier, the well-tempered keyboard, were composed about 20 years apart, the first collection dating from 1722. Roughly half the preludes in Book 1 were recycled from earlier collections of Bach's keyboard works written for the instruction of various members of his family, and sometimes involving transposition. He also took themes from the works of other composers, including a collection of 20 preludes and fugues in a wide range of major and minor keys by Johann Caspar Fischer, published in 1715. Starting from C major, Bach offers first a prelude, then a fugue, successively in C, C minor, C sharp, C sharp minor, D, D minor, and so on, ending with a pair in B major and finally B minor. B major was an exceptionally rare key in Bach's day, as indeed are several in the comprehensive tonal pattern of the 48. This was due to the various tuning systems current before and during Bach's day, according to which certain intervals were tuned relatively pure, leaving others that were only rarely or never used so wide as to be unsuitable for use at all. 
But we should not make the mistake of thinking that Bach composed his well-tempered clavier for modern, equal temperament. Although that system of tuning was theoretically known and understood in Bach's time, it was only rarely used in practice. In equal temperament, all the fifths, starting from middle C on the keyboard, going from C to G, G to D, D to A, A to E, and so on, ending with B-flat to F and finally F to C, are squashed from their pure values by an equal amount, so that when we get back round to C again, it's in tune with the note with which we started. In fact, Bach was writing for the so-called circulating temperament, in which some of the intervals were squashed slightly, some more, some less than others, retaining in some cases the lovely purity of their resonance, and always allowing every note of the scale still to be combined with any other acceptably. There have been various theories as to which circulating tuning system Bach may have had in mind. Even an authoritative suggestion that the decorative squiggles across the top of his handwritten title page for Volume 1 in 1722 actually indicate in code different degrees by which fifths were altered from pure. While numerous manuscript copies of Bach's 48 were circulating among his pupils and admirers during the 18th century, and this is how Mozart and Beethoven got to know them, for instance, it was not until 1801 that the collection finally appeared in print. It was immensely influential. Chopin's 24 Preludes of 1839 were inspired by Bach's set, although the pattern of keys is different. And in 1950-1951, Shostakovich composed a set of 24 preludes and fugues in rather closer imitation of Bach's scheme. For this recital, I've chosen six pairs, all from Book 1 and all in major keys. The idioms of the preludes are quite varied, and likewise the technical features of the fugues. Due to lockdown, these were of necessity all recorded in my music room at home, with the microphone position rather close. I'm playing my 1911 Beckstein Model A Grand, tuned here in equal temperament.